Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Metafort ReFantasio on the Steam Deck Steam OS. And currently there's two mods that I really think you should install. I think it's a must actually if you play this game. And I'm going to show you how to install these mods on your Steam Deck. Okay, but before we go into that, let's just run the game without any mods and you can see what it's like. Uh, so you can compare like with and without the mods. I really think it performs a lot better with the mods. Like the game performs okay even without the mods. It's like 30-ish frames. Uh, sometimes it goes to the 40, 50s, 60s. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's overall it's okay. Uh, I haven't played a lot of it. I know this is a really long game and I'm not ready to sink like 100 hours into it. And like there's a lot of intros when you boot this game up and the mod can also skip the intro. So it's a lot better. You don't want to go over the intro every time you play this game. So let's boot into the game. Okay. And here's the town area. And you can see like the motion. Uh, it's not bad, but like you can like, tell there's a difference after you've installed the mod. Like kind of feels a little... Doesn't seem too right in motion. Maybe because I already installed the mod and I know what it's like. Um, so I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone Here's something okay. that might catch a foreigner's eye. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. Let me skip this. I'll be if I can. What's up there? And Take a look, see the character outline. There's a like, black outline for the characters. Okay, that also can be disabled. Uh, so depending on what you want. Like, I actually kind of like the black outlines, but uh, the mod, you can disable that. All right, and it performs better. So now let me show you the game with the mod on. Let's um, install the mod together and see if you like it. Okay, quit the game. Okay, so before we go any further, let me interrupt because I think this might be interesting for you. If you haven't purchased Metaphor ReFantasio yet, okay, go check out the sponsor of this video, instantgaming.com, using my link below. This game is currently on sale at 21% discount, and you know it's a steal at this price because this game, like if you like JRPG games, if you're interested in the Persona series, okay, and this is a really long game, so you probably get well over 100 hours of playing this game. Um, and yeah, this is a really good price. And if you use my link below to purchase this game, I do get a little kickback. Okay, so you can support me without extra cost to you. And it's a really good steal. So yeah, go check out this website, instantgaming.com. Okay, so in order to install the mod, first thing you need to do is go over and download the mod. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description. It's on Nexus Mods. Make sure you're logged into Nexus Mods. And the two mods I'm talking about, the first one is Metaphor Fix. Okay, this does a lot of things. Like I said, intro skip. Uh, it removes the FPS, 60 FPS cap in menus. It fixes the eight-way analog movement. I think that's why like, it feels weird when you're moving around. Okay, I think this helps it. Um, I also like this, disable camera shake. All right, and then uh, ultra wide. Like we're not using ultra wide on the Steam Deck, so yeah, if you're like connecting to an ultra wide monitor, maybe this helps you. And for graphics, uh, it disables the dash blur. I really hate motion blur. Um, you can also adjust ambient occlusion resolution, so this helps improve the performance, you know, especially on the Steam Deck. You want every single like performance gain, and then you can also adjust the shadow resolution, which also helps. Like that, that uh, like you can't really see the difference on the Steam Deck screen. And here, disable black outlines. Okay, so in order to um, install this, go over to files. And then, yeah, just manual download this, Metaphor Fix. Okay, click on manual download, slow download. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. So mine's right here. Double click on it, it's a zip file. Okay, you just have to extract these files into the game folder. So here's my game folder. I'm just going to extract it over. Okay, and then here, the metaphor fix.ini, double click on it. And here's where you want to like edit your things you want. So do you want to skip the movie, the intro? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to set true, not intro, true. True. I'm going to copy this and then 
Frame rate cap, fix analog movement, yes. Okay, disable camera shake. That's what I want. Paste. True. Okay. Um, resolution, I'm just going to keep it. 16 by 9 is fine on the Steam Deck screen. And then here, the dash blur. Okay, paste. True. Disable outlines. I'll show you what it's like. For me, I kind of actually like the outline, the black outline for me personally. And then this ambient occlusion. So it's default at 1. If you want better performance, Set it to 0 0.5, or maybe you can like mess around with it. Uh, LOD distance, I think 10 is okay by default. Okay, so if you're playing on the PC better, you maybe you can set it higher to increase the draw distance, make it look better. And here, shadow quality. Default is uh, 2048. Let's decrease this to 1024 to improve performance. Save. Okay. Okay. And the mod, like see here, for the mod, it's using an ASI loader and the ASI loader is winmm.dll. So go over to your Steam library, select the game, go to the gear icon, properties, make sure you have this wine DLL overrides, winmm, all right? You have this command. I'll paste this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. This like kicks the DLL for the ASI loader to load the mod. Okay, and let's install the other mod. Okay, let's go back, back. The other mod is this, better anti-aliasing. Okay, so this adds anti-aliasing to the game. So it improves, improves the, like, the, you know, when you're moving the camera and it, it, it helps a lot, actually. I think this actually helps a lot. So go to files, manual download, like before. Okay, slow download. I've already got it, so I'm not gonna download it again. Okay, so mine's in the downloads folder, better anti-aliasing, double click on it. Okay, also extract these to the game folder. And that's it for this one. You don't really need to do any settings. Now let's run the game again. And we can see that any differences. Okay, you can see the reshade up here. Okay, that's the anti-aliasing mod that uses reshade. Just let it load. Okay, you can see we're directly into the title screen. So we skipped all that intro, which is good. Which is good, which is a lot faster, right? All right, you can see the character. It doesn't have the black outline. So depending on you know, your, your style, if you like it or not, I kind of like it. And it feels like much smoother. Can you, I'm not sure if you can tell on the on the YouTube screen, but um, in person, like it, it feels so much smoother. Right? It's actually really good. Actually, really, really good. So yeah, that's how you install the mod, guys. Uh, it, it works in gaming mode as well. Um, do I have to show you that, guys? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't really think I should waste time going to gaming mode to show you that. Yeah, same thing. The same in gaming mode. Uh, FPS is about the same. So in the town, you're getting 30-ish, 40. All right. Yeah, so I'll leave it here. Uh, I'm just going to skip the cutscene. So if you have any issues, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, if it helped you out, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the next one. Later.